What's up, everybody? It's OC Motor Mac at you. Oh, oh, hold on one second. I forgot the most important thing, my hat. Um, it's OC Motor Mac at you with another one on Chris Got Games. And uh, before you leave this video, make sure to hit the notification bell, the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Share with your friends. And um, I'm sure you're curious to know um, what I'm going to be talking about right now. I am. Let me show you. Remember I said, uh, remember on the Psycho Master System video, I said I had another console that was 8-bit? Yeah. Well, that console is an Atari 7800, and this is Galaga for it. Atari 7800. Dude, I used to play Galaga at the corner store. Dude, this is upside down. Nope. What? Oh, yeah. I don't know why. That's just how Atari did their stuff. Atari 7800 video game cartridge. Yeah. Galaga. What's all that say? Uh, copyright 1987, Atari Corps, all rights reserved, CX7805, Galaga is a trade part of Namco. So what's it look like the other way? What do you mean? Upside down. And then it oh. just has that. Hold on. Pro system. Mm -hmm. What's the back look like? Blank. What's the bottom look like? Uh, we'll get to the bottom. Hold on one second, because the bottom is a key feature of this cartridge. I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. But I wasn't born yet. So this, uh... This cartridge has probably been on Earth longer than I have. Unless I've always been on Earth. But I just don't even know it. Yeah, so the key, okay, so you said you wanted to see the bottom, right? Yeah. No, I made a mistake. But I have a chance to own up for my mistake. Remember when I did the Atari Jaguar cartridge on the Bruce Lee story? Yeah. I said that was possibly... That was gameplay. No, when when I showcased it at first before I'd even got the Jaguar. Oh yeah, that was your first video. Yeah. I had said that that might have been the only system with a slotted cartridge. It had a slit in the cartridge, you know what I'm saying? On the board. Yeah. This also does. What the? Wait, so that doesn't stick out? It sticks in? No, there's two. There's two slots on there. Here, I'll show you. The, this is kind of harder to see. With the flashlight, you can see the slotted board. Oh, yeah, with the flashlight, you can see it. Wait, it's a board? Yeah, it's a. Oh, it's like a computer. Yeah, just like a Genesis cartridge or like a Super Nintendo cartridge, it just has a slotted board. And um, you remember that Doom game? The red one? Yeah, the red cartridge for the uh, SNES that I did at my friend's house. That also has a, cart uh, a board similar to this with two slots in it. So I guess I was wrong. So Atari and certain other games specifically had a slotted cartridge. And yeah, and so um, that's Galaga, and uh, hold on, I'll, or no, that, yeah, that's Galaga, and hold on, I'll be right back. Did you ever play Galaga? This is just like a square, that's crazy. Galaga. Look how dope this looks though. This is before everything went all digital. Dang, I'm so good at crazy shots. Look how clean that looks. I'm basically a photographer. Yeah, I've uh... Oh, you ruined my shot. Sorry. Yeah, I've played Galaga before for the NES. 
Do you but, hear that whistle? Yeah. But um, I wanted the 7800 version of it because I want to have different games on different consoles. I don't want to have the same game on the, on another console unless it's a specific game like Doom or Grand Theft Auto or something. But um, yeah, this is Galaga for the uh, Atari 7800 uh, Pro system. And uh, Galaxia is the sequel to this. Alexia. I yeah, Galaga. and so Galaga is basically like these little like ships form at the top of the screen and they'll go boo, boo, and they'll start like falling down and you got a little ship at the bottom going back and forth and you got to shoot them, you know? Yeah. Kind of like that game right there, Colfoy. Right over there. Kind of like that game. Which game? Right there. 1944. It's Gal Galaga's a little, little. It's kind of similar. No, to that. no, because this this game you go forward. Galaga, Galaga, everything comes yeah, down. Yeah, you can only go sideways, and they form at the top, and they'll come down like at you. Yeah, Galaga, they come from the top down. So it's kind of similar, but not. In this, they're not coming from the top. It's just yeah. a top view. Mm -hmm. In the end, so that's all I wanted to uh, cover on Galaga for the Atari 7800 Pro system, and. uh the next time you see me cover this game, I keep forgetting, like, you know, the top of the cartridge. I keep forgetting. I don't know why Atari did that. But they have this uh, upside down, like you said. But, um, what is it? And all the games are like that, too. And some of the games actually have a colored label. Do they cost more? Just silver. Sometimes the picture is colored. Sometimes it'll say 7800 in blue or red. Oh, yeah. Can you tell these guys to support Aaron Carter once? Yeah, support Aaron Carter. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say about Galaga is and show it off for the uh, 7800 and another 8-bit system besides the um, Master System and the NES. And I have a cool story about this system, but I'm not going to cover that until I actually do the console review. Why? Because it's appropriate for the console review. This is just showing off a of game. Oh, is that that console you said i never seen? Yeah, yeah, that was the third 8-bit console that I was talking about that I had. Yeah, i for sure never seen it. But, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to cover on this. And, uh, you know, signing off on another one, OC Motor. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to subscribe and support my channel and like the video, hit the notification bell and share with friends, then uh, that's up to you to go ahead and do. But uh, until next time... Peace.